The following trailer is rated H for honest. From the people who brought you massive first-person shooter games, set in practically every historical and modern setting imaginable, comes a game set in the one war they hadn't touched yet, because it was too awful and depressing. Yay? Battlefield 1. Get ready for the savage intensity of Battlefield 1's opening moments as the game shoves you straight into the front lines as soon as you put in the disc, and you brutally die in a variety of predictable ways with no hope of survival, in an experience that perfectly prepares you to get destroyed by everyone else playing online. Shit. Well, at least it's realistic. Prepare your surprised face for Battlefield 1's gut-wrenching campaign mode, a series of short stories told from different perspectives throughout the war with dark, bittersweet plot lines that treat World War I with actual gravity and respect, and deliver an unusually emotional payload for a mostly multiplayer game about wanton dude murder. With an attention to detail that immerses you in the nightmare of the setting, that's only slightly undercut by your magical radar regenerating health powers and ability to resurrect yourself at will, because at some point this still has to be a video game. After you recover from the gritty, almost realism of the campaign, Get ready to toss all that period accuracy in the dumpster and blow it up, as the terrible, frustrating weaponry of World War I is ignored for a bunch of experimental and prototype firearms that conveniently take the forms of machine guns, shotguns, sniper rifles, grenade and rocket launchers, and everything else you come to expect in an FPS, plus a World War I version of that tiny gun from Men in Black. And DICE makes a bunch of practical gameplay choices, like immortal horses, vehicles that don't control like garbage, keeping the spotting system, even though now it's just pointing and shouting at guys like you have finger to rats, and turning chemical weapons into a useful sidearm instead of a horrible war crime that all make for a better video game experience, but probably have actual veterans spinning in their graves. But don't worry, history buffs, you still get to brutally murder people in muddy trenches with a shovel. Yay! Sink your teeth into the real meat of the Battlefield series, the online multiplayer, and get ready for a wide variety of modes to suit your playstyle, from classics like Team Deathmatch and Point Capture, to weird pigeon-related modes, to larger-scale conquest maps, where you'll never get to drive the vehicles, and the brand new operations mode, where you'll need to set aside an entire weekend just to finish a single match. In a smorgasbord of game types so wide, you'll have played the game for weeks before you realize you're terrible at it. Choose one of four classes and jump into the front lines, then immediately get shot in the face from across the map, and respawn as a different class like that'll help somehow, as you slowly crawl across no man's land to the next objective, only to be immediately one-shot once you get there, until you finally get your hands on a tank, and then just bulldoze everything in your way in a shooter experience that's equal parts awesome and frustrating, but will keep you coming back for more anyway, because someday you're gonna be the one who makes it to that flame trooper kit first. Oh, come on, get back here, you asshole. So grab your stick grenades, cape, and silly hat, and bayonet charge into the most fun you'll ever have with one of humanity's collective nightmares. Because to be honest, making an epic shooting game is the only way you're gonna get anyone under the age of 30 to care about World War I anymore. Starring fresh-faced idealists, grizzled old veterans, wisecracking tricksters, naive sidekicks, one-man murder machines, a henna tattoo lady, a whole bunch of corpses, and physics glitches. Your Battlefield, KD-1. Wow, did you guys know this game is also the world's most detailed pigeon simulator? Truly a modern masterpiece. Be sure to subscribe for more Honest Game Trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Time to iron your party pans. Welcome to the cookie world. Pen Pineapple Apple Pen. The Warriors blew a 3-1 lead in the finals. I live with my mom.